The power of AI is mind-blowing, and this is just the beginning, from creating entertainment content to writing computer programs. It's a game-changer, but it also has a dark side, from deep fakes to eliminating jobs. Either way, we all have to navigate this brave new world. Check this out. Korean. Arabic. It liked iets uit Star Trek. Maar hologram technologie is nu hier. And Dutch. Three languages I don't know. But with AI, I can speak fluently. It's not perfect yet, but pretty close. All of those videos were generated with an AI language tool on a website called HeyGen that anyone can use. That is one of the most amazing aspects of this technology, just this idea that we could start to communicate with the world seamlessly, like any, any language. Steve Mudd is the CEO and founder of Talentless AI, a next-gen creative studio that uses AI to create marketing content. He says the wonder of AI is mind-boggling. Generative AI in particular represents the greatest collection of storytelling capabilities, and frameworks and knowledge ever assembled. They don't call it Death Valley for nothing, and coyotes don't make a good pet. Steve created these movie clips using AI tools from Midjourney, Luma, Runway, and Eleven Labs. These people don't exist. We're probably three to six months out from seeing the world's first feature-length AI film. Steve also had some fun with cat videos and making me look like I have some dance moves. But he showed me how easy it is to make synthetic media, where the wonder of AI turns to worry. Synthetic media is where you take sort of aspects of real life, you know, where you can start to clone people's voices. You, know, you hear about, about deep fakes. And he used my image and voice. So I had taken a clip of your voice. You know, obviously there's lots of clips of your voice out there. So I was able to create a clone of your voice and basically layer it over the top of my voice. In a year where everybody was talking about artificial intelligence, at the end of the day, real intelligence matters. And then to take it a step further, I took a picture of you and put your face on top of my face. In a year where everybody was talking about artificial intelligence, at the end of the day, real intelligence matters. How are we going to be able to tell the difference? You can't. You can't. It comes down to media savvy. You know, understanding where am I seeing this content? You know, what is the greater context of it? Is it coming from a trusted source like CBS? Or is it coming from some random website that's been designed to look like a real website? You know, it's, it's, it's the same problem we've been dealing with, you know, really since social media took over. Like, where is that information coming from? And this is just the beginning. And there's no sign of it slowing down.